This is an iPhone 7, and welcome to why the iPhone 7 did not get iOS 16. What was told to consumers was because of the RAM requirement for iOS 16 was 3 gigabytes, and this iPhone 7 only has 2 gigabytes of RAM. But then the iPhone 8 does indeed get iOS 16, but the iPhone 8 also only has 2 gigs of RAM. So how does this work? And the A10 Fusion chip and A11 Bionic chip, they're pretty much the exact same chip, except the Bionic chips are more power efficient. What I'm thinking it is, is because the iPhone 7 is really known for overheating, so to make the phone not overheat more than it already does, they're just not going to give it iOS 16. And iOS 16 is already two years old. This thing's running three-year-old software. I just wanted to talk about why this phone didn't get iOS 16, because I see so many people on like Discord servers and Reddit forums uh, wondering about why did this phone not get iOS 16, because it's pretty much exactly the same as the iPhone 8. But it's just the flaws about the iPhone 7 and the overheating and things like that and the batteries on pretty much every single iPhone 7 is probably going to be crap now. So they just want to preserve the phones a little bit more, let people use their phones a little bit longer before they have to upgrade. But if we're being real, it's just trying to make you buy a new phone. It's similar to how the iPhone 6s got 7 years of software support from iOS 9 to iOS 15. It's kind of similar to that. But that was just crazy. That's worth a whole nother video. So I'll try to get my hands on iPhone 6s. 15 just seemed like a good stopping point for the iPhone 7. Because I think it had some trouble doing some things on iOS 16. Like the new wallpaper UI. I think it wouldn't be able to run the wallpaper UI too well. So I just think iOS 15 was a good place to stop it. And if you want iOS 16... You can find an iPhone 8 for literally barely more expensive than an iPhone 7. iPhone 8s are only like 20 bucks more expensive than iPhone 7, so. But if I'm being entirely honest, I would not recommend any of these two phones in 2025 to actually use. Because they're just not that good with battery life and software support. So yeah, within like the next year, you're going to see a big difference within software support. But especially for iOS 15, and even on iOS 16, the iPhone 8, you will get 100% a big difference on software support because they're outdated operating systems. So yeah, if you're buying an iPhone, get an iPhone that's at least supported on the latest iOS. So in 2025 for iOS 18, get at least an iPhone XR. But yeah, with that, let me know what you think in the comments, but this is my take on why the iPhone 7 did not get iOS 16, and until the next one, 3GS.